Hello all, today I am going to review the Mira display. This is a wireless display device that can help you cast your phone screen or a laptop screen onto your uh, display device that this is connected to. Let's see how this works. You need to connect this device to the HDMI port of your TV. This. And there is uh, another USB cable connection that goes into the USB host that would help this device to get powered. You can use the power of your TV itself to power it on. If not, this particular end of the USB cable can be connected to a USB adapter and power it through the plugs. Here it is, I've connected it. Now it's time for me to turn on the TV so that this device can get powered on. Now then, the device is connected, the television is powered on. Now you can see that when I switch on to the respective HDMI port, I can see that this device is turned on. And in this case, you can see that you have two options. One, you can go ahead and use this device to play or cast the devices using the Apple AirPlay or DLNA and we have another option of casting the devices screen onto your TV using your Android phone or a laptop. By default I have uh, selected or I have configured this device to start up with the Apple AirPlay or DLNA mode but this is configurable. You can change it to the Android screen casting mode also but in case you have not configured the default settings you can go to the back of the TV and switch on the button and change the configuration now if you see this device here you have a button here and if I press this button you can see this configuration change you see this now it has moved on to the Android mode this device can be used in both Miracast display mode and the DLNA mode. Well, the use of the Miracast mode is much more useful than the DLNA mode. Uh, I will explain or I will shoot a different video to explain how you can use the DLNA mode. But in this particular video, I am going to show you only how this Miracast mode works so that you can cast your complete phone screen onto the TV. Now this is as simple as it gets. Now if you can see, you can take your phone, go to the cast mode and try searching for your Wi-Fi display. Here you can see there is a Wi-Fi display that gets listed. It's Mira Display DF754CF9. You can see the same name being listed on the top. Well, it displays the same name as the SSID. Now go here slowly and select the Mira display. You can see it's connecting and you can say it says do P2P connection and then it would go to the do RTSP connection. Now it would start casting. Wow! See this here? You can do a bunch of lot of other good things here. You can watch video here. It streams really well. It's a Cube Tech Miracast device. It comes for 1400 bucks. That's close to $20. Seems very well, doesn't it? You can use this to sit in your hall, sit on your sofa, far away. It, it works well with 2 to 3 meters or 3 to 4 meters. You can sit there, browse anything. Very nice. Considering the price of this device and the way this performs, I would give this device a rating of 3 out of 4. Though there are some lags if you move far away from the TV. But I can live with that considering the price and the performance of this device. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Because I keep on explaining different devices 
uses of different gadgets. Thank you.